Bandgap voltage references have long been used in integrated circuits. Two common implementations include voltage regulators, often referred to as LDOs, due to their low dropout operation, and voltage references. Each function uses the bandgap circuit differently, and the design is optimized for that exact function. An LDO is designed to work at as low an input voltage as possible while providing substantial output current at a reasonably accurate voltage. In contrast, a voltage reference optimizes precision, usually at the expense of available output power. Most data acquisition and monitoring circuits require both functions. Hi, I'm Mike Anderson, a design engineer for signal conditioning products at Linear Technology. Today, I would like to introduce you to a new concept in voltage references and regulators using Linear's latest voltage reference, the LT6658. The LT6658 brings the best of the regulator world and the reference world together by combining the foremost reference and regulator features into a small space-saving package. We call it the Refulator. The LT6658 consists of a precision bandgap circuit and two precision low drift buffers capable of sourcing 150 milliamps and 50 milliamps. Each buffer has a separate supply pin for electrical isolation and a separate Kelvin sense feedback pin for superior load regulation. There's a noise reduction pin for noise sensitive applications and an output disable pin to place the outputs in a high impedance state. As with most linear technology voltage references, the LT6658 offers high precision with a 0.05% initial accuracy and a 10 parts per million per degree C temperature coefficient. Other common voltage reference specifications, such as line and load regulation, output impedance, and supply rejection are exemplary. However, the LT6658 goes further by providing significantly more current drive than industry standard references and by addressing AC performance characteristics. The ideal voltage reference will exhibit fast settling, even when used with SAR and Delta Sigma ADCs, which commonly appear as a switch capacitive load. Simply buffering a voltage reference with an operational amplifier to improve current drive is inadequate, since many operational amplifiers can only drive 50 picofarads to 100 picofarads. Moreover, switching transients can cause excessive ringing or instability in an op amp. The LT6658 is designed to drive loads from 1 microfarad to 50 microfarads. When driving a capacitor switching circuit like a SAR or Delta Sigma converter, it remains stable and settles quickly. The buffered outputs of the LT6658 ensure that capacitive glitching on one output will not affect the other output. For this reason, the two LT6658 outputs are ideally suited to drive separate ADCs. And since the two outputs track well over operating conditions, they maintain consistent conversion results. The LT6658 is also ideal as a regulated power source for microcontrollers and precision analog circuits. With the dual reference and regulator capability, the LT6658 allows the elimination of unneeded regulators, their supporting components, board space, and routing. It can improve sensitive analog circuit design by localizing power distribution. Moreover, precision power sources can be large and costly. Rather than use a regulator, a precision voltage reference may be enlisted to power the ADC, DAC, and other sensitive analog circuitry. This can be a useful approach if the reference can supply sufficient output current and if the reference is not corrupted by supply glitches. Unfortunately, most precision voltage references are not designed for high drive capability and load regulation error can significantly affect measurement accuracy, especially over temperature. In fact, load regulation over temperature can generate significantly more error than the temperature coefficient and initial accuracy of the unloaded reference. 
The LT6658 solves these problems with its ability to comfortably source 150 milliamps and 50 milliamps with its two tracking outputs. In this application, the 50 milliamp output is used to drive the reference input of a high resolution SAR converter and set up the common mode of an op amp. The 150 milliamp output is used to power an op amp and other analog circuits. Because the outputs of the LT6658 are buffered separately and they have excellent load regulation, multiple loads operate with little or no effect on the adjacent output. To demonstrate the ability to drive a reference input and supply power to other ICs simultaneously, we built the Refulator application. In addition, we put a 150 milliamp load on output 1 and a 50 milliamp load on output 2. We saw no difference in the SAR performance with or without the additional load. And as you can see in the table, the LT6658 performed well delivering a stable, fast settling reference voltage to the high performance ADCs. To get an idea of how well the LT6658 outputs track, let's look at these plots. The first plot consists of three typical parts. The temperature is swept and the difference between the two outputs is plotted. The outputs are within plus or minus 100 microvolts and vary only slightly. The second plot shows as the load on output 1 increases from 10 microamps to 150 milliamps, there is little change in tracking. While the outputs track well, they are also independent from each other, especially if they are powered separately. This plot shows how output 1 is isolated from output 2 over frequency for different combinations of NR and output capacitors. At 100 Hz, we see about 140 dB isolation. This is equivalent to a 1 microvolt change on output 1 when there's a 10 volt change on the supply input of output 2. This next plot shows how output 2 changes due to a disturbance on output 1. In the transient domain, we can see a 140 milliamp load step on output 1 and less than 100 microvolt transient on the adjacent output. Another feature of the LT6658 is the noise reduction pin. By placing a capacitor on the NR pin, the noise bandwidth can be band limited, thus reducing the total noise for noise sensitive applications. With output 1 fully loaded at 150 milliamps and a 1 microfarad capacitor on the output pin, we can see the difference in the output voltage noise density with and without a capacitor on the NR pin. With no capacitor on the NR pin, the voltage noise density is around 150 nanovolts per root hertz until the bandwidth is limited by the output buffer. The 150 nanovolt per root hertz can be band limited by adding a 10 microfarad capacitor. This will roll off the noise to around 8 nanovolts per root hertz until it is eventually band limited by the output buffer. You can also see the dramatic effect the noise reduction pin has on the total integrated noise for the same scenario. With no capacitor on the NR pin, the total integrated noise is over 50 microvolts RMS. When there is a 10 microfarad capacitor on the noise reduction pin, this reduces to around 6 microvolts RMS total integrated noise. This can be further reduced by increasing the size of the capacitor on the noise reduction pin and the output pin. To conclude, the LT6658 is a revolutionary product that combines a high quality precision reference and the robust output current drive of a dual output regulator. The LT6658 is capable of driving multiple reference pins on converters and microcontrollers and it has the ability to simultaneously power precision analog circuits. All of this from a small space-saving MSC16 package. For additional information on these products, please visit our website at linear.com, where you'll find the data sheets as well as additional information regarding voltage references and regulators. Thank you for watching.